Our stargazers have been treated to a rare blue supermoon. And millions have got the chance to watch the blue supermoon. The phenomenon happens when a full moon is at its closest point in orbit to the Earth, and so appears even bigger in the sky. Here's a good look at it from Seoul in South Korea. Carol, I have one important question for you. Did you yes. see the moon last night? No, Sal. I'm right under a weather front. There was too much clouds. It was a bit like that here too, Carol. A little oh. bit disappointing, but I know that some people, including some people with very fancy cameras, did see the incredible moon last night. Um, lots of people are going to talk about that today, I think. Yes, uh, we've got some amazing pictures for you. Uh, these aren't from the UK, these are from elsewhere. So send us your pictures about what you saw here. Um, but uh, these incredible images uh, of the supermoon last night, I'm assuming that is Paris and the top of the Eiffel Tower, not the Blackpool Tower. I was just going to say, Blackpool, maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah. But look how red it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, pictures from Paris last night. Um, we did get a tiny glimpse of the moon this morning, didn't we, Ben? We were a bit underwhelmed. Oh, Is that, yeah. Are we OK to say Because that? it wasn't red and it wasn't blue. It just looked like a moon. Yes, it did look very pretty. <laughs> we though. were so looking out the window at five o'clock this morning. If you've got gorgeous pictures of the moon overnight, do <laughs> please send them in to us. Now, we have seen some incredible shots of the rare blue supermoon last night. You've been sending in your photos already this morning. Yeah, loads of them coming in. Keep them coming. Uh, this first one from Helen in Swansea. Look how red that is. That's, what a that's not blue, picture. that's red, he said, but there's obviously oh, yeah, a good reason point. for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> call it a blue moon, but it's red because of the weather conditions. Yeah. Candy <laughs> sent us this, which is a close-up. How good are these people's cameras? Much okay. better than mine. You don't get that, that on your phone, do you? Uh, that's from Nathan in Huddersfield. Uh, you can see the kind of the aura. Maybe that's dust on these lens. I don't know. What is it? Is that the aura of the moon reflecting all You're the light? You're asking me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, OK. Last night, a rare blue supermoon could be seen from around the UK and across the world, delighting thousands of onlookers who have been taking some amazing photos. Yeah, it was the first of four consecutive supermoons to come over the next few months. Well, Dr John Panay Fisher from the University of Manchester is with us. Morning. Morning. Um, Loads of amazing images yes. all over social media, all over the internet today, looking like this. Explain, first of all, why it is like this. Yeah, so basically, this is quite a rare sort of astronomical bit involving the moon that has three different features sort of combining to form what we have, this, this blue supermoon, yeah. but also the fact that it's red. So firstly, it's red because, as you probably covered um, on this programme a few weeks ago, there's been quite a lot of wildfires up in North America, mostly Canada, I think and smoke particles has been travelling across the jet stream, making its way across to this neck of the woods, uh, and those particles are diffusing the light that's being reflected from the moon, giving this sort of reddish glow. So firstly, that's why the moon has been looking quite red, and some of you may have noticed that the, the, uh, the sunsets and sunrise have been a bit redder and, than usual at the moment. But also, we have a blue moon and a supermoon. So the supermoon means that the, the moon, as it orbits the Earth, is not quite circular. So there are periods of time where it's a little bit closer to the Earth and a little bit further away. And this is one of these supermoon events, and so it, this is the closest the moon can, can possibly get to the Earth currently during its sort of orbit around uh, our planet. So that's the red, that's the super. That's the super. Why blue? And the blue. So this is where things get a little bit more complicated because there are two definitions of a blue moon. There's the more modern version, which basically just means there are two full moons in a calendar month. So obviously you've got the moon that's rotating. So the moon is rotating around the Earth, but it's also rotating as well. That's why you have a, a, a new moon and, and, and a full moon, because the, 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 the moon is rotating as it's orbiting the Earth. And so um, that period of rotation is a little bit smaller than a calendar month. And so every now and again, you'll basically get this extra free uh, uh, full moon. But that's the modern definition of a blue moon. This is where things get a bit more complicated then. So the older version of the blue moon is what's known as the seasonal definition. And so each season, like summer, for instance, normally has three um, full moons. On occasion, it can have a fourth full moon, and it's the third one that's called the blue moon. And I guess this sort of stems back to, historically, all the different moons throughout the year have got different names. And so people might have heard of, for instance, a harvest moon, yeah. which is typically in September, October time, which coincides with harvest festivals and stuff. And so this probably is some old medieval sort of definition of, of why some people would have, would have called this a blue moon. 
And speaking of definitions, the rarity is the origin of the phrase once yeah, in a blue moon. Indeed, yeah. It doesn't happen very often. So it, it really, this, this sort of blue moon in the seasonal definition only really happens um, every two to three years, basically. So when are we likely to see this combination again? So this particular combination, it is quite rare. So funnily enough, actually, there was one last August, but the next one isn't due to be until the 2030. So it is kind of a sort of a once in a decadal type event. So that's why it's a bit special. We probably should have enjoyed it more this morning. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we, we looked it. out the window at yeah. five o'clock and went, no, it's not that big or that blue. It's the moon. <laughs> it's the moon. <laughs> um, but we've had a great year for sort of stargazing this year. I mean, the Northern Lights earlier mm -hmm. this year looked incredible yeah, as did. well. Is there something particular going on about, you know, where we positioned at the moment? Yeah, so, well, the Northern Lights in particular, um, so the sun goes through periods of sort of activity and it, it cycles between sort of very intense activity to very low activity. And at the moment, we're in a period of high activity. So uh, we may indeed be seeing some more nice displays of Northern Lights uh, in the next few years if we're, if we're really lucky. But yeah, that, that one last summer, or well, a few months ago, was, was spectacular, wasn't it? You ready for a slightly mad question? <laughs> what impact does a full moon have on us? <laughs> well, I mean, it does affect the tide slightly, yeah. but I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. No That's werewolves. <laughs> no werewolves. No badges, no. no vampires, <laughs> nothing like that. No. That's us told. <laughs> <laughs> but it affects the tides, I knew that. Yeah, that's also important, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice to see you this morning. Thank, thank you. John, uh, thank you. Cheers. And thank you so much for your images as well. You've been sending so many in. Uh, keep them coming. We'll look at some more of them a little later. But uh, maybe not quite as spectacular as this on no, the normal phone. I know. But... I, I now feel like we maybe should have taken a photo of the moon that we saw on the way in. For posterity. Yes, because yeah. we're not going to see another one like it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go. That was the moon that we looked at and went, that's <laughs> <laughs>